guess who's back? Okay, you guys, so yes, we're gonna do this a third time. I have been on the hunt for a replacement peekaboo and I had kind of given up this year. I thought, you know what, it's not gonna happen. Maybe I'm just forcing the situation and I just have to, you know, let it go. And I did buy the Lady Dior and I feel like I bought that bag as a placeholder almost because obviously they're two completely separate bags in any case. Um, I recently found the perfect peekaboo, you guys. So this bag is pre-loved and I was actually not expecting to purchase a pre-loved peekaboo at this point just with my track record, but I found a beauty and the price was great. So. I had to jump on it and I actually purchased it from Rebag. This is a bag that I saw online and I kept looking at it. I want to say for like a full month, you guys, I continuously looked at it on Rebag. For some reason, I had not paid attention that it was available at a store that was near me, which is on Melrose, yes. and decided, you know what, I'm just going to go look at it just to see because they don't take the best pictures and I wanted to first see if it was authentic, obviously. So I walked into Rebag and they didn't have it anywhere and apparently they had been holding it for somebody else because I described it to the girl and she said, oh, I, I know totally what you're talking about. She went to the back and she brought it out and I gasped. So the bag that she brought out was this beautiful peekaboo over here which is black with gold hardware but it is just so much more than that you guys i love the detail on this bag it is just so beautiful it has like matte hardware over here it is lambskin which is not like my favorite but the details on this bag are so good that i could see past that and this bag has feet so this was a 100% winner for me, you guys. I am so obsessed with this bag. Um, and also it came with this really cool strap that I won't be wearing like all of the time. I am going to see if I can source another um, kind of regular strap, but this is the one original to this bag. And it actually looks really good on. I will go ahead and um, add a mod shot to this but I am so happy to have this back in my life. When I no longer had this silhouette in my collection, I kind of became like a hamster on a wheel. And honestly, you guys, at the end of 2018, I was in serious purse peace. I was very in love with my collection. I loved every piece in it. I loved how it looked cohesively. And when that bag left my collection, I feel like I just started to chase that feeling. I, I for some reason, I just could not get there again. Um, and then I bought that fake one and then it was just, every everything led to like this bag. And having the Chanel rectangular mini and then having this one has legitimately put me in purse piece you guys and what i mean by that isn't oh i'll never buy another handbag but i'm very comfortable right now with the number of handbags in my collection i don't feel like you know there's an overflow of bags they're all extremely you know they all get used they all make sense in my collection there is a very beautiful cohesiveness to my collection now and i really have to thank this bag for it because i just can't see a collection without the fendi peekaboo and this bag is in amazing shape it was used and i will say something that i was not very familiar with and is this sagginess of the bag that happens here in the middle so i know that you know this bag was used it was not abused but it was used but i'm not bothered by that at all you guys i just think this is a great bag and i normally wouldn't be like excited about like you know just a plain basic black bag but this one um 
had the feet that are like a must for me and I love the gold detailing and the black matte hardware. I just think it's such a stunning bag. And honestly, I am over the moon right now with my collection, you guys. And I'm so excited to present to you guys that yes, I finally got a peekaboo back in my collection. Now, again, I don't foresee me making any other drastic changes to my collection at this point. Um, I have considered selling off one of my walks because um, I've discussed not liking redundance in my collection and I have two walks and I don't know, I, it's very hard for me to part with Chanel, but um, I may end up having to let that one go, um, but we'll see, I haven't decided yet. But like I said, definite purse piece at the moment, you guys. Everything is all good in my neighborhood right now. Um, so that is it, you guys. Let me know what you think about my new piece. Um, and thank you all so much for always being very supportive. I know you guys were, you know, equally bummed out for me with the other uh, real, real bag that came in and ended up being a fake as well. Um, so this has not been an easy acquisition for me. I, I just, um, you know, I am usually very, very drawn to the peekaboos that are more structured. So I am not opposed to at some point maybe adding another peekaboo into my collection that is like, um, you know, like really, really cool but I am very, very happy with this one and this one will never leave my collection. I actually can't believe that somebody sold this off. I don't understand, but yay for me. Okay. okay guys, I did want to quickly address how my item came packaged. Because this was my first purchase from Rebag, uh, I'm, I was not very familiar with them as much as I had heard about uh, the real real and fashion file so I was really impressed with their packaging I did receive the original Fendi box that came with the peekaboo and all the original packaging was on there like I mentioned before I did get a rebag dust bag uh, my bag was in there and uh, my bag actually uh, that's obviously my Twilly but it did come with its original um, dust bag and it also came with all of its original Fendi paperwork that's in there and the raincoat in this little plastic bag and Rebag also does this really um, cool authentication card but they are pretty impressive. They give you an authentication card of their own with bag ID and all of the information on there. And I was not expecting that. So um, I am really impressed with Rebag, you guys. And honestly, uh, I just wanted to give them a quick shout out because I did, you know, kind of roast um, the real real. And I think that it's important to give companies who do right by their customers and I have nothing but good things to say about their customer service in store and I even got a phone call after from um, one of the associates asking me if there was anything that I wanted to sell and they couldn't have been any nicer so a big thumbs up for Rebag from me guys so that is my reveal for today, you guys. I really do appreciate you guys watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.